is a complete elimination of who you are. Yes. And then it allows you to go into the completeness of who God is. So when David was saying, oh, come, let us worship. Thank you. Basically, what David was saying was that, look, I tapped into something that I need to let you know about. Amen. I, I, I really tapped into this thing. In Psalms 1, as I was looking at Psalms 138, uh, if you turn to it, he said, basically, um, I, I've come to a place, I've come to know God more than one who's going to do for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I've come to know that if I can get into a deep enough place in God, that I will have to spend so much time praying for myself. I can pray for others. I can use that prayer time, not asking God to do this for me and do that for me, but prayer can be more of a supplication, meaning I can pray for the world, I can pray for the lost souls. What happens is that the body of Christ, sometimes people are so busy praying for their own stuff. Let me get it. I know it. I know it. I know it. Hey, Lord, the yes, Come on. Yes. Yes. See that? They almost formed the cross. Yes. Yes. You are my eye. Yes. We're so busy praying for ourselves, we don't have time to pray for the world. So the world goes lacking. So Apostle Rose, the Lord revealed this to me, and uh, he just opened Psalms 138 up when David said, I will praise thee with my whole heart, okay? Because if I can praise God with my whole heart, right? In other words, David said, what I've done with praise is I have taken praise off of myself. I've come to a place of praise that when I think about praising God, I'm not so much of thinking about what he's saying or what he's doing for me. But with my whole heart, if I can just take my whole heart and get it into praise, then that praise will be, then my praise will be towards God and not so much towards myself. Amen. Uh, before the gods. Watch this, watch this. He said, Psalms 138, he said, before the gods will I sing praise unto thee. Uh, Mary, when I heard that, I took a leap in my spirit. Uh, because one thing this lets us know, that God himself acknowledges that there are other gods. Uh, he said, there are no, I am the Lord thy God, and there are no other gods besides me. In other words, he's saying there's nobody or nothing, idol or anything that will, that can line up with who I am, or line up with my character, or line up with my depth and my dimensions, or line up with, with, with my very being and my very essence. Uh, you can have this for God and that for God. Uh, the demons worship God, uh, but, but you can't line up nothing with me. So David is acknowledging there are the gods. But this is what got me real excited. Uh, he let me know that there is a dimension, Miller, of worship that we can get into. Uh, that he will allow us to go before God yeah. and sing praises to God. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's like an in-your-face Lucifer. Yeah. And I know they say don't be bumping him and bumping him. I ain't afraid of him. Oh my God, there's not. I'm too hot for my God. In other words, I can get my problem and I can think about my problem and I can praise God. Because sometimes all their problems and situations become our God. Because they tend to be out to mean more to us than God Himself. Come on now. When we give them so much attention, we begin to have the similitude of an idol God. Come on, say so now. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Just to get That means that when we go out, when we worship him, Mama, that means welcome back, Mama. Had a good trip? Yeah. <laughs> Your daughter was missing you. Yeah. I almost had to stop her from crying yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Watch this. Yes. Mama said, what is he we can actually, when we worship and praise, right? Yes. We're doing it before the gods. Yes. Right in their face. Yes. 
Yeah. That's a dimension of worship. Mm. Because you you can do it in their face, then you what you do is you diminish the influence that they have over your problem. Look, that's why Lord Satan had a problem with Jesus in Luke 4. No, what was in this? He said, All you gotta do is just worship me. Worship me. And Jesus said, uh, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shall thou serve. Wow. Uh, I can imagine Lucifer just started cringing, uh, yeah. saying, this is not the way I meant for it to turn out. Uh, I've shown him all the kingdoms of the world. You know, a lot of times the enemy, he show people stuff in the world, they just fall for it, uh, uh, like a sweet potato uh, up under marshmallows or something, you know. Uh, uh, what I'm saying, uh, glory to God, but, but, but Jesus put him in his place. And that's what worship our worship does. Yeah, uh, I'm going to this right now. I'm probably by myself. I got to. Got to. He said, I'm going to sing praises unto God in front of the God. Yeah. Right. Amen. Which lets me know is that worship has to be a lifestyle. Yes. yes. It has to be a part yes. of your culture. Yes. Which means that it's not enough for you to worship mm. God here, uh, but your yes. spirit and the whole essence of your being must yes. always, and that's what worship is, uh-huh. be prostrated yes. before yes. the face yes. and the essence yes. and the being yes. of God. Yes. How can I say prostrated before God at all times? Mm. Uh, your spirit yes. uh, is in a place of prostration yeah. before God. That means that if ever your flesh mm. uh, gets out of place, your spirit yeah. is always yeah. prostrated yeah. for mm. worship. And mm. if your flesh starts twinging or going another mm. way, your spirit Woo! will always yeah. bring your flesh yeah. in yeah. line. Yeah. 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 Cause we got to
I have to tap into David because you know I, I compete against David. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I compete against a dead man. Uh, but his word ain't dead. <laughs> and the spirit that he was serving that was upon him this night. Thank you. Woo. And we're going to class here. <laughs> not dead. Not dead. Yeah, yeah. What I say? Worship well. Uh, it'll drag you into the fields of glory. Uh-huh. And it'll take you under like a deep sea yes, dive. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Right. <laughs> they say the seas are miles and miles and miles. It'll take you under like a deep sea dive. Huh? And you get down there with the other elements of the sea. Uh, you won't want to rise up above the waters huh? and see the world for the way it really is. Huh? But you can get down deep huh? into the sea. And you find yourself swimming huh? yeah. uh, with the mm-hmm. fish. Mm-hmm. Uh, my God. Boy, you know what you're riding huh? on a whale. Well. Uh, glory to God. Yeah. Ooh, Lord. Ask Jonah. He had to take a deep sea. <laughs> Takes you so far into the spirit realm. You feel like a prisoner of war. You don't be calling home. But trying to do a little do a little letter on the TV. Say, come and get me. Send the stealth bombers. Mm. Come and get me. Uh, you be one make he'll make you put a sign on you and put you on the camera before national TV and say, Yes, I'm a prisoner and I don't wanna come back. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm a prisoner and I like where I am. Mm. I found a new home. Yes, yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, Thank you, I'm about to finish. Mm, thank you, Lord. He said, okay, that's our will. Worship. That, that, that's that's our will. That's what that's how it is when you have a desire. Yeah. Oh God. Just to be in his presence. Mm. But now I'm gonna tell you when how designed to be in God's presence like that, what it'll do for your stuff. Mm. Can I tell y'all that? Then we can yes. get on up out of here. Because I'm going to see how Monica and Chris, Chris can uh, beat me in that little skit that they use. See how somewhere we can include a third person <laughs> in there. David, he said, was a man after God's heart. Yeah. Because no matter what David was going through or how he acted, he always found himself. Always, didn't Worship is the answer to all your problems. Because worship is inside. It's inside of who Moses said, I won't go without. It's, it's inside of inside of inside. Yeah. It's inside of where you can't be seen because you're hiding mm-hmm. under the wings mm-hmm. of the Almighty. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Can I borrow you again, Chris? <laughs> Bring one of the babies to light me. Bring one of them. She liked me. She liked me. came to me yesterday. Oh, Lord, she turning on me. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, worship. Bring one of those. I'm going to work this out. Because I want the young people to understand. Go to Mr. Chris. Can you go to Mr. Mr. Cliff? Can you go to Mr. Cliff? Go to Mr. Cliff. Go to Mr. Cliff. Just hold it up in front of you. Turn to yours. Worship. The closer you come to God, the deeper you get into God. The more you 
come to God. She's in a place right now, right? And if she walks slow, to, walks slow to Uncle Craig. See? See? The closer, closer. All those are worship dimensions. Amen? Mm -hmm. But the closer you get into God, the more you get into his glory place, right? And then you get to the point for you. Mm -hmm. you're being a good girl. You want some ice cream at the church? <laughs> <laughs> ice cream at the church? I'm going to give you some ice cream, okay? Turn to him with the Chris. Just get you, and nobody can see you. Yeah. Oh God. Oh God. And what's this? David oh. said in 138, he said, he said, mm -hmm. I worship you for your loving kindness mm -hmm. and your truth. Mm -hmm. So the more you get into, you get to know the loving kindness of God and the truth of God. Amen. Whereas Keisha, nobody and nothing can turn you away. There's no, there's no book. There's nothing that can Amen. be said. There's no law that can be passed. Nothing can separate you from the love of God. Because you've tapped into the truth of God. You've tapped into a truth that the world don't understand much. That, but you understand it because you've been there. Mm -hmm. my, my, my. Yeah, like that. yeah. You've been there. You've tasted of his loving kindness. You've tasted of his truth. And David said, not only that, but thou hast magnified thy word uh -huh. above all thy name. Uh -huh. So now I see you in a larger capacity. Mm -hmm. or in a larger way that I've seen you before. Mm -hmm. So the closer you get to God, the bigger God becomes to you. Yes, Lord. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. And he becomes so big. David said in verse 3, in the day, mm -hmm. uh, a time will come every now and then mm -hmm. uh, where we need for God to do some stuff for us uh, mm -hmm. that we didn't need for him to do before. Mm -hmm. uh, David said, when I cried, mm -hmm. uh, thou heard me. Mm -hmm. uh, because I thou heard me. Watch this, watch this. He just said, thou hurt me. He said, when in the day when I cried, thou answered me. Uh -huh. I mean, uh, that there is no doubt about it. You never have to worry about God hearing you because you're locked up in that worship dimension of God a way you can never not be heard by God. Yeah. Even to say I was saying this and that. He said, I cried. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I cried. Yeah, All I have to do is make a motion.
We would scare B. She's still going to be wrapped up in the arms. Yes, Lord. Even in a more mature age. Mm -hmm. And that's how it is with us. He'll continue to give us purpose and things to Him. And we'll continue to go through things and experience things. But we'll always be a graduating maturity. Yes. Yes. If we can just get our worship. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And just get our worship. Yes, Lord. Right. Yes. That's what you said. Teach him how to worship. Yes. yes. That's my new man. Yeah. Teach him how to worship. He said, yeah. I'm going to take you. And I'm going to send you from city to city. Uh -huh. And I'm going to let you show them my glory. Yes. yes. Show them my fire. Show them my worship. Yes. And he said, then the people will call unto me. And they will say, who is our right God? Mm -hmm. Who's our right God? Mm -hmm. He said, the people serve many, but there's only one right God. He said, if you can introduce them to worship, you can introduce them to me. Mm -hmm. yes. So I say to all of us who are ministering to people, and even as we go, and minister to our family. Yes. We can just get them into worship. Yes. Stop trying to have them look at us yes. and how we live in our lives and how we're supposed to be so holy. Yes. And point them to God. Yes. To God. Yes. Like John the Baptist. Yes. Yes. And like Jesus did. He pointed them to God. Yes. Just point them to God. You can just get them to think about God. That's the first thing. Yeah. If you can just get them to think about God, just put God in their mind. You know, God is real. I don't care what nobody said He's real. I see y'all late. I gotta go. You know what I'm saying? You ate fried chicken and did a little ham, a little this and that and the other and everything. And then you leaving out, he's going out and you say, oh, by the way, God is real. Uh -huh. You may not have ever said nothing. Don't, don't give me more people and they immediately think you're just going to lecture them the whole time. You Come know? on. You know? Amen. Praise the Lord. See, and you know what God does? No matter how heavy you think you are or your stuff is, God still got you. Amen. He still got you. Because God's strength is always above you. Amen. 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 Desire the innermost parts of God, just, not just even what's in here. Because this is a shell of who God is. Yeah. Uh, it started something else. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he was praying and God heard him. He cried and God heard him. Yeah. Watch this. This is God's will for man. Okay? Especially the body of Christ. Watch this. But this is, he just, I just heard that. This is a shell of who he really is. Mm -hmm. This is just the beginning. Paul said, if we can just tap into him, he said that in um, 1 Corinthians 2, like 1 through 4, 1 through 8. He said, if we can just tap into the spirit, mm -hmm. we can know God on a level unimaginable. Yeah. And when I realize when we know God on that level, we. But see, that's when you really know who you are. Mm -hmm. You know who your mother is and your grandma, and you know you were wearing your grandma's button and everything, you know, on Mother's Day. Amen. You know, you know your grandma. <laughs> you know what I'm And you know your name is Chrissy. Mm -hmm. But to really know who you are is to know God. Mm -hmm. Let me put my glasses on so I can look at some of the young folks. Look at them, this is pretty, aren't they pretty? Yes, oh, they are. great. Yes, they are. Mama just a hit me. She just a hit me. Yeah, I saw that jewelry. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? You know God, then you know who you are. And then, young people, when you know who you are, then you choose friends more like you and not like who you are not. And that's when we get in trouble is when we choose friends like who we're not because their job is they try to change who we are to be like them. 
Okay. And when you really know who you are, mm -hmm. then you are always who you are without any deviation based on who you're with or where you are. But it all starts with your creator. Yes, baby. It all starts with God, don't it? So as we minister, Keisha, as we go through our to minister to others, because you know you'll be doing that. So, you do know that, right? You don't think you just called around this powerful couple here just so you can get your stuff, Harry. <laughs> you are over here, you do know it's a setup. <laughs> you know, because at some point in time, <laughs> at some point in time, all of the attention turns from us. Mm -hmm. And it's always all about God. But David was saying, as, as I do this, I didn't even read the worship scripture. The one he said about worship, come on and worship and bow down. Uh -huh. He just gave us the key to getting our stuff handled. Backing up to God, and bam, whoop, there it is. Whoop, that ain't world. I went to see him, I was at Howard years ago. It was like, <laughs> you say, I'm all right, Jordan. I, I was good. <laughs> Ambassador Jordan. She's loving me, Ambassador. Did y'all know that? Amen. Yes, sir. Her and Giovanna. They're going to help me with loving me. That's right. They're going to help teach these young girls who they are. Amen. Yes, sir. That's right. And while they teach them who they are, they're going to continue to find out who they are. Amen. <laughs> Oh, God. I got strategy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yeah, go ahead and let God birth that out, Keisha. You know who I am. You all just be encouraged in the Lord. There is none greater. Nobody. I'm going to tell Brandy, y'all, they good today. <laughs> Hallelujah. Just worship. If it's not but five minutes, I'm going to have a, I'm going to bring the church next Sunday. I'm going to bring a worship regimen. I'm going to bring some information on worship. Because I want to help all of us. Even myself. I'm not bringing you nothing that I'm not doing. It's going to help us go into worship. In the Lord. Because it takes discipline of the body, yeah. of the spirit, and yeah. of the flesh. Amen? Because I have to get down and pray. I have to be sleeping five minutes. <laughs> really? But what I found out, I don't get down there to go to sleep. If I happen to just go in, amen? I found out that God is still moving on me. In the sense that you got to be woke for God to do it. Your spirit is for your spirit. As for me and my house. Yes. My house. Your house. Hallelujah. I want to take everybody in here into a new dimension of worship. See, the, you know, the good part about that is that I don't know where you are. I know it's only because apostolic that God shows. But that does, that's irrelevant. I'm not even thinking of where you are. I'm just going to find the fact that God said he's going to do something new in all of us. I'm ready for my life. Yeah, Keisha. Mi a tocar Mi a tocar copa. Yes, God. Yes, God. Come on, we're just going to worship. This worship dimension is going to be a little different. Because I, he's about to serve about to just lift you up. And he uses music to help elevate you. I'm going to get some of Monica's blues. Monica, you feel like doing that again? <laughs> you don't take your contact with That's all right. That's all right. Don't let God use you right there. Kristen, I'll do it. <laughs> That's all right. She might not be. You don't know. But, 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 but. I should have watched the moves more close. Anybody else know the moves? 
how you do a more of God. That's right. Come on, just go into worship. Just go into worship. That's right, glory to God. You just, you just went. That's right, yes. In the ring, yes. That's how you I just saw you go up in the spirit of the Lord. Keep doing what you're doing. Just keep worshiping. Amen. That's right, keep working. God's gonna use you. I see you in a new place. Holy place is up. Holy place is up. Holy place is